Well, thanks for logging on tonight. I've got news of a brand new feeder competition for next year. I'm also going to be giving away one ticket free of charge to someone who's going to be the lucky winner of a competition that I'm going to be running a little bit later on in the video. And I've also got news of some brand new feeders that are coming out this week that loads of people have been asking about. And I'm also going to be taking a look at some of the events that we've got lined up for next year. Well, as you can appreciate it, the calendar for next year is filling up really, really quickly. You know, we are actually spoiled for feeder events now. There are loads of events out there, no matter what discipline you're into, and I think that's fantastic because it's it's not long ago. You know, we were really struggling, so you know, for some high-profile events, and now you've really got to look at what it is you really want to do and make your decisions early so that you can get them in the diary. Certainly, if you're having to book time off work and things like that. I've got news tonight of a brand new competition that the Angling Trust are actually, they've just announced that they're going to be running next year and it's actually a Feeder National Championship. It's going to take place on the 23rd of August and it's going to take place on the Gloucester Canal. It's a team event, teams of six, so that's another fantastic event that we've got to look forward to. For anybody who's interested in that or any teams that are interested in that, you really need to email the Angling Trust. Sandra at the Anglin Trust, her email is directly beneath this video in the description box for you. You need to email her just to register your interest so that you can get some sort of an idea of how many people might be interested in that sort of event. Personally, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get there just because of clash of dates and that sort of thing. I won't be looking at that really until next year. But one of the reasons why I brought it up tonight for you is because I've had four messages already this week from anglers that are looking for teams to fish with. Okay, as you can imagine, there are lots of individuals out there that aren't really connected to teams in any way. So I thought it would be a really nice gesture, as well as mentioning this event, just to offer the comments below this video for anyone who's interested in fishing that competition. So if you're interested in it, you want to fish it, but you don't have a team, or if you wanted to put a team together and you're looking for anglers, just comment directly underneath this video, and it could just be a nice little hub where hopefully some of you will be able to get hooked up with a team, and hopefully I'll be seeing you on the bank on the Gloucester Canal. Well, over the last few weeks, I've been getting several messages about some of the feeders that I've been using. A few weeks ago, I shot a couple of videos where I was using some of the Matrix's new feeders. These feeders actually go on sale. One of the um, designs goes on sale this week, so it should be in your tackle shops or it's certainly available to order. And then the remainder of the feeders should be out the week after. Now, these are the feeders I can show you. Um, what kind of styles they are. These are ideal feeders for this sort of fishing. You know, fishing in winter when you're scaling down on the amount of feed that you're putting in. And these feeders just, that, you know, some of them are really scaled down, but they're, they're ideal for casting into a, into a wind or a crosswind because they can be really, really accurate for cutting through the wind. That's one of the styles that I've been using. Um, this particular one is, they're all marked up nicely on the, on the side. That's 20 gram. And as you can see, they're lovely, nice, neat, com compact feeders. Um, and so these are the ones that I've been using. I actually use these at the weekend at Carmel. And the Orbit Feeder, which I believe is the first one that comes out possibly this week. I think that one might actually be in, 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 uh, in stock now. Um, but that's the Orbit Feeder. You can see the design of, of where the, the lead is at the bottom. Um, beautiful little feeders. And this particular one, as you can see, the holes are really quite large. So that means that the water can get to the ground bit really, really quickly so it empties quick. Ideal in shallow water, or if you're catching fish, as soon as the feeder hits the bottom, it means your feeder's emptying right on the spot and it's not spreading bait all over your swim. So what I'll do is directly underneath this video, I'll put a link to the website where you can take a closer look at these feeders so you can see what sizes are available, what weights they come in, um, and just more of the spec about what these feeders are all about. There's also one that I've been using, I've really been using that one for feeding because I've only been fishing still waters recently. And so I've been using this larger cage here for feeding, you know, initial feeding or for just kind of topping lines up. It's also got the lead on the side or the weight on the side, really nice and flat, really nice big um, surface area there. Ideal for fishing on softer bottoms because then your feed is not gonna be sinking right in into the silt. So um, I've been using these for quite a few weeks now. So um, like I say, these are the Orbit ones are available this week. So you might want to have a word with your Matrix stockist or see if you can find them online from other tackle shops that sells online. But I'll put a link to the website directly underneath this video that will take you to the web page where you can look at these in more detail. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I've got to say a huge thank you to everyone who sent me kind messages about qualifying for the Golden Rod feeder final, which takes place in March next year. I qualified at Carmel Dam, and I've had several messages already asking me when the video is coming out for that match. Unfortunately, it was a bit of a rush job. I was just, I wasn't able to film it. So unfortunately, I don't have a live match video from that match for you. It was just, I drew the scales, I was on the far bank, the longest walk, and I had to wait until the end of the draw queue for the scales and the board and all that sort of thing. And by the time I got to the car park, I was the last one to park right down the lane. Then I obviously got to get to my peg. And I literally only had about 35 minutes to set up. I've got four rods to set up. Um, and as you know, everyone knows, I hope that fishing comes first and I had to, uh, I had to just focus on my match and get it right. And thankfully um, it paid off, you know. So I don't have a live match video for you, unfortunately. It was a really tough match. Um, one thing I've just got to say is a massive congratulations to Matt Bretherton, who won the match. He is a member to my um, to my other channel, my coaching channel, the Patron TV. He's a member there, and I know how much time and effort he's put into his fishing. Massive congratulations, Matt. He actually went and won the match. It only took nine pound. It fished very, very hard, but we, you know, we expected that of Carmel and my weight which was exactly six pound hours second overall so you know i'm obviously really pleased to get there at this early stage because i still had about eight other tickets as well so that's eight other rounds now that or qualifiers that i don't need to go on so that's great because it's freed up a lot of dates later on um going into into the new year so that's going to give me a chance to get out on the bank do more filming for you guys uh, and obviously fill you know fish some other matches as well i was over the moon for matt you know and i think it's worth noting that Two members to my coaching channel have now both qualified for that final. Uh, I'm absolutely over the moon for them. Uh, Mark Deacon's the other one who was qualified. Massive congratulations to you, Mark. He qualified at Southfield Reservoir. And, you know, I know how much time and effort they put into their fishing. It's brilliant to see them making their first big money final like that. And it's going to be really it's going to be great to be on the bank next to him you know um if anybody wants to check that channel out like i say it's more coaching and tuition style videos more in-depth videos then that's the website address in that bottom corner and there is a link at the end of the video for you um but yeah i'm really looking forward to that final already and i'm there in february anyway at larford to fish the silverfish festival as well so i will be spending a little bit of time at larford through um, through February and March. So on the back of me managing to make that final, I'm gonna be giving away a ticket for one of the qualifying rounds. Now the qualifying round that I've got a ticket for is Lindome Lakes, okay? Now it's, it's not a specific feeder venue and it's not a pole venue. Who knows what methods that's gonna involve, but it's Lindome Lakes. I'll put a link to their website underneath this video in case anybody wants to have a look what that fishery is all about if you don't know it or you want to see where it is and you obviously want to know how you can win this ticket the tickets are 40 pounds each to buy so i'm giving this giving this one away to um, a lucky viewer and all you've got to do is guess the winning weight from our match on sunday sunday is the start of the feeder masters winter pairs that lee kerry runs and that's kicking off it's the first round of the league this year it's at holcroft fishery it's a pairs event and we're spread over three different lakes now the event is run on cumulative weight of the winning pair so all i'm asking of you is if you want a chance at winning this free ticket for that qualifier for a chance to qualify for that final in march all you've got to do below this video is just put what you think the cumulative weight will be of the winning pair on sunday simple as that okay bit of background information on the fishery it has been fishing a bit hard it's been flooded for about two weeks it's been right above the platforms it's been almost unfishable but the water's back down to the normal level last week there were some 20 odd pound weights of silverfish which is fantastic but there were areas where there were one or two blanks as well so if you want to have a chance at winning um the opportunity the free opportunity uh, qualifying for that golden rod feeder final the match takes place on the 14th of december at lindon lakes so all you've got to do is just comment below underneath this video and just have a guess of what you think the winning weight is going to be of the winning pair good luck well tonight's been a bit of a check-in video with you like i say i didn't have a live match to upload for you because i couldn't film on sunday but obviously the big picture for me was to get in that final and qualify and that's what's happened so 
there are loads more live matches coming so i will be uploading them right here on this channel for you if you're having a go in the golden rod ticket qualifier competition then good luck with that like i say just comment below what you think the winning weight is going to be and i've got loads of matches coming up through the winter period so if you don't want to miss out on any of those just hit that subscribe button there and if you want to check out my coaching channel then just check out that link just there there is a link there and a button for you if you want to have a look at that so thanks for watching tonight i really appreciate it and hopefully within the next seven days or so the ground series is going to be getting rolled out thanks for watching and good luck at winning the ticket